importing to streets and trips and creating your route you start off in navigator and keep in mind that uh, the one thing you want to do is make sure that you're at your start page and this is a very uh, simple step that all you have to do is basically export all your files into Excel and of course you click down here then it's gonna ask you where do you want to save your file to I always like to save my desktop only because it's easy to find so you hit click save and then you just give it a title for example I would name it today's date and there it is and that's all pretty much uh, what you would do and hit save and of course just leave that as it is um, you know Microsoft Excel worksheets hit save and that pretty much will save your work okay so now that you saved your work you go ahead and open it up and you should be able to see all your inspections here uh, what you just downloaded now we don't need all of these columns up here all we really need is just the address city and zip code so I usually like to try to get rid of all the stuff that is unneeded and the only reason why I do that is because um, it'll just help me with the setup on streets and trips it'll make it a lot easier so I click edit hit delete and get rid of those columns then I move over I get rid of customer notes all the way across stuff that I don't need okay all the way up to the end so the only thing I'm left with is three columns address city and zip you really don't even need the city to be honest either all you need is a zip code but that's your call you could either just have address city and zip code or you can just pretty much just get rid of city itself if you want to as well and be left with you know address and zip okay <clears throat> once you've selected and you've uh, went ahead and got rid of all your other extra columns um, your next step is to import into streets and trips of course you don't want to forget to save so go ahead and hit your save button save it and then um, now you're ready for importing okay once you open streets and trips now you go ahead and go into your data that's this menu up here import data wizard and then you select the file remember we save it on desktop remember that we called it 112008 that's this one right here hit open oh we forgot one step let's go back and um, do some fixes before we go ahead and do the import so I'm going to hit cancel here and I'm going to go back to your Excel. One thing we forgot to do is we, we really want to save it as a different type of file. Um, so I'll hit save as and we don't want it as a web page. We want it as a Microsoft Excel workbook. So that's the way we want it. That's an important step that when you save your data, be sure to save it as a Microsoft Excel workbook and then hit save. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite the existing file? That's because I left the name the same. If you notice, 112008. I hit yes because I do want to overwrite it. Okay, now we're really ready to open up the Microsoft Streets and Trips and start working on that. So we open it up. We go to Data. Click on that. Hit Import Data Wizard. Go to our desktop. <clears throat> That's where I saved it. Open it up. Hit Open and there you have it now uh, the data that is on there of course uh, I left the name on there but I don't need it so I'm just gonna say skip data and this is the area where I told you that if you did your Excel where you got rid of all your columns you didn't need it'll make this section easier notice how it already gives it a heading of address and uh, zip code and I've put here skip column that's because I don't need that data so what we did in the past by sorting our columns and deleting some of our columns is we avoid all these extra st steps that we would normally have to take here be sure that you have first row contains column headings um, checked off <clears throat> and, uh, and then you just hit finish and then it starts importing all your data into your map okay once it's done importing you get this pop-up and it's going to say um, these are the unmatched records this is where you would open up your spreadsheet and highlight these particular addresses okay because what it's telling us is that it can't find them on streets and trips so that may mean now that you have to go to Google and search for these addresses if you cannot find them in Google that lets you know this this is an unable to locate and now you can go ahead and send it back as a UTL and have them reissue it
So again, you would open up your spreadsheet, look for that particular address, highlight it, and uh, it'll it'll remind you when you go back to your spreadsheet what is it that you have to go ahead and and call as a UTL. Okay, so this is when you start doing that stuff. Now, what it's really doing though, it's telling you suggestive uh, other addresses that it may be. It may be uh, Six Road rather than Six Avenue. But we know this is Glenville, California, and we're not looking for that <clears throat> particular address, um, only because I know I don't do that area. So, um, but this is this is where it starts telling you. So in, in this instance, it's, uh, I'm going to hit skip record, so that way it does not put it in there. Okay, this is my next one. Again, it's telling me um, skip record. Here's another one, North Third, Oak Run. So this is what it's suggesting, and this one up here is what I actually imported. And again. Just because I know the area, I know this is not the one, so I'll hit skip record. And it'll keep skipping records until I find what I want. So so these are all the records that I'm skipping. And here's another example. It gives me all this, but it didn't give me a street or an address or anything to that nature. All it does is give me the numeration of the house. So again, I know that this is a UTL. I would go back to my spreadsheet and make all the changes. But just so we don't go through this whole thing, I'm going to just hit skip all records that do not apply. And the ones that did will show up here. Okay. And as you can see, you have all these pins on the board now. All these pins are telling you where all your jobs are at. Okay. <clears throat> so the next step is, of course, you want to go ahead and um, get them routed over to yourself. And uh, we'll do that by going to um, hitting the little car up here. The little car will is what helps us do a route planner. Okay. So now what I do is I go ahead and select this little select right next to the hand is the select. I click it and it depends what area I want to work in. Now this is where I start doing a little bit of planning and it depends what you're trying to do. Now what I did is I imported my whole area. You don't, you don't have to uh, import your whole area. You can just import part of it. Um, but I will show you in the next video how to work this. Right now all we did is the export and on the next following video I will show you how to actually start your route. Okay?